Now for this last part, it says, hence or otherwise, find the area of triangle ABC. I'll just draw a line across from A to B. Now because it said hence, it's got to obviously have something to do with the previous part. And in the previous part, we found out that the length of CA was 3 root 6, and CB was 2 root 29, and the angle ACB was 57.9493 odd degrees. Or the cosine of theta, if you look back, was exactly 7 over root 174. Now, if we're to find the area of this triangle ACB then, we can do it two ways. We can either get an approximate answer or we can go for the accurate answer. The approximate answer would be using this angle here. The accurate answer would be, or exact value, would be using this. And I'll show you both methods. But whatever we do, we know that the area of the triangle is going to equal half the product of two sides, that would be CA and CB, times the sine of the included angle, often known as the formula half AB sine C. So it's going to be half then multiplied by 3 root 6, multiplied by 2 root 29, okay, and then multiply by the sine of the included angle, 57.9493 odd degrees. And if you work that out, you find that you get 33.5410 and so on, okay? And if we round this, say, to two decimal places, then we're going to have 33.54 is the area. I quite often like to write units squared, okay, for the area, but that's up to you. And that is to two decimal places. Now I did say that you could go for the alternative, which is the exact area, and I'll show you how you do this, because even if you don't do it in this question, there are cases where you will need to use this idea. And that is, again, we've got the area of the triangle is going to equal a half multiplied by the product of the two sides. So that would be 3 root 6 multiplied by 2 root 29. But it's when we come to the sine of the angle theta. We know that cos theta, if you look back to the previous video, turned out to be 7 over the root of 174. And what we could do is just draw a triangle, something like this, okay? It doesn't have to be to scale or anything, but let's just say that this is our angle theta in here. Cosine compares adjacent to hypotenuse, so this would be 7 and this would be the root of 174. And then that means that by Pythagoras' theorem, we can find this side, because it would be the square of the hypotenuse, which would be 174, take away the square of this side, the short side, 7 squared is 49, so you'll have 174 take away 49, which leaves you with 125, and then we just square root it. So this side would be the square root of 125, or you could break this down to 25 times 5, which is going to be equal to 5 root 5. So by doing this, I'm keeping this side in an exact form. So for the sine of theta, sine of theta compares the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So what you've got now is that the sine of theta equals 5 root 5 divided by the hypotenuse, which is root 174. Now if you clean this up, you can see it works out very nicely because the square root of 6 times the square root of 29 is the square root of 174. So both of these cancel out with that root there. So you could just go a 1 and a 1 there. You've got these two 2's that cancel, that one cancelling with that one. So when you work this out finally, you'll find you get 3 times the 5, which is 15, multiplied by the square root of 5, 
root 5. So 15 root 5 is the exact version then of that area, units squared. So I hope it's given you some idea of the two ways that you can go about this question. Okay?